Year Ape Nation, what to do? What's up, my peoples? All right, real quick, this from my peoples that's buying puts or considering buying puts on AMC. This video is for y'all. I really don't care for anybody else's comment. This is not for y'all. If I get a dumbass comment, I'm blocking your dumbass. I'm just to that point. I don't care anymore. Okay, I don't care. You put a dumbass comment up. I'm blocking your dumbass straight up. So, real quick though, before I start this video, I want to give a shout out to Frankie Muhammad. Um, love you, brother. The video you did earlier, <clears throat> I agree with a lot of what you're saying. Pretty much everything what you're saying. Um, and people for the people that's still in AMC, um, you know, don't let this stock market discourage you. I mean, it is a tool of wealth, but if you win some, you lose some. I'll just put it like that. You win some, you lose some, and you have to really gain a really deep understanding for how this shit really works and understand that it's institutions and hedge funds involved that uh, control this thing. There are opportunities to make money, and there are opportunities that look like opportunities, but you end up losing money. But you win some, you lose some. You think I won all my trades? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. But just charge it to the game. Look at it as you're paying your tuition to the stock market. I know some people might have a distaste for this after the stock market, uh, as do I. But I'm going to continue to trade, which I'm more so a futures trader now. Uh, gold, oil, natural gas. Um, over the months, this has been my my forte. Uh, I, I trade options like less than five percent of the time now. To be honest with you, um, but you want to know the people that's making silent six and seven figures, man. They in the futures market trading commodities and shit like that. But anyway, that's another conversation for another day. This is for my people that's buying option contracts or planning on buying option contracts for AMC. So I did my homework last night, and this is what I want to bring to you. All right. So, all right, this is it. So, you see how high the IV is on these uh, contracts for the expiries that that are uh, for August, September. October, let me tell you something, guys. Okay, we're just going to go to September 15th, 24 days from now, right? Mm -hmm. This is an IV trap. Look at how high the IV is on these contracts. We're just going to look at the $3 strike price real quick. Uh, because there's a lot of volume in these contracts, this is an IV trap. The IV on the $3 puts, which is a lot higher than the calls, as you can see. Uh, AMC is currently down 17% right now. Uh, hell, whatever I've been saying, but anyway, the IV look at the IV, it's at 280%. The implied volatility is super high, so you're paying a dollar for these contracts, right? Right now, now everybody's anticipating the market makers are setting this, so everybody's anticipating the move down, um, post reverse split and conversion. Now, now check this out, right. Just look at the three dollars and the two dollar uh, strike, and this is for the September fifteenth, right? I haven't bought any puts yet, guys. I haven't bought any yet. Uh, tomorrow I'll be I'll be I'll be loading up tomorrow, but um, all right now this September fifteenth, right? You see how high the Ivy, which the Ivy is going to be high in AMC for a while because of because of what's happening right now. The Ivy is going to be high, but this is outrageous. Uh, you're seeing 280, 300 percent plus. Uh, it's just insane. So what's going to happen is after the reverse split, <laughs> mark my words, this is the key. See, there's going to be, when they drop that 25 million shares, the quote unquote share increase, they have to drop the price low enough for an institution to pick up those shares to then turn around and lend out. So there's going to be a pop in AMC and they're probably going to neutralize the price for a little while before it has another huge drop. So what's that what that what that is going to do is it's going to it's going to crush you. It's going to you're going to get IV crushed. The market makers are going to drop the IV on those contracts and your contracts are going to be worth a lot less. You know what I'm saying? If, especially if you have those close close to expiry contracts. This is what they're doing. So you're going to see a lot of people start dumping their contracts 
come Thursday and Friday, anticipating the initial move down. Anticipating the initial move down. If you get caught with your pants down, you could get fucked. So, we're going to come down to the January 19th of 2024 contracts, which is 150 days from now. If you want to play this, you know, a little long term, and because whatever, oh, we're going to do the math on that after I finish this, but um, when AMC drops, I don't know, a month or two or three from now, whenever it is, when the price is down 13, 14, 15, 16 bucks from where it opens up at Friday after the ape conversion, you're going to make money. You're going to make money. But look at the contracts on January 19th, 2024, 150 days from now. You're only paying 20 something cents more. The bid on them for the $3 strike is a dollar 28 and the IV is a lot lower. See, it's 170 percent. It's a lot lower. So you come out a lot better if you was to just play your contracts long term without risking getting IV crushed because this is an IV trap. I did my homework on it. This this is an IV trap that they're doing, guys. This the market makers playing their games. So you got to play chess with them. So this is why options is very risky. If you really don't know what you're doing, I, I advise most of you to stay the fuck away from this shit. But for the ones that are looking to get into contracts or buying contracts, if you already bought some for an expired that's closed, I would say dump them now or as soon as you can tomorrow morning, like for real, for real, and play them out a little bit longer. See, look, the $2 strike price is only, the bid is at 56 cents for 150 days from now, guys. When they were at 20 something cent, no, 30, was it 20 something or 30 something cent for just September 15th? Because the IV is a lot lower. See, the IV on, on a $2 strike is 155%. So I just want to bring that to everybody's attention. Um, for the people that are buying puts contracts, like I said, if I get any, any dumbass comments, I'm blocking your dumbass. I don't care anymore. This video is for y'all that are interested in buying contracts and for y'all only. I could care less about what anybody else got to say at this point. I told y'all everything about what's going on and and uh, pfft, pfft, what, what more do I need to say? But anyway, we're going to do the math real quick. Given the current price of AMC right now, given the current price of AMC and Ape right now, I'm going to break down what, what <coughs> the price will be around given there wasn't a litigation settlement payment and uh share dilution come thursday friday morning this is what the price would be at around what it would be at but it's going to be lower i'm telling you guys now friday is going to be lower than what i'm about to show you so i'm about to break down the math real quick on that all right so we go into the handy dandy ca calculator the current price of amc right now is two dollars this is as of this video I, like i said i'm deleting all you dumbass motherfuckers with y'all dumbass comments i don't give a fuck about it none y'all got to say if y'all can't understand the fact that that uh, total market cap divided by shares equals equals the share price. If you can't understand that, stay the fuck out of the fucking stock market, bro. Stay out. Stay the fuck out. All right, so the given price right now, and this is a rough estimate. Given the price right now, $2.56 of AMC, right? So we're going to times that by the float of AMC, which is roughly about $519 million. $2.56 times 519 million. All right. So that's 1.328 billion market cap for AMC. For AMC. Now for Ape, because Ape is down too. Let me see. Okay. 1.88 times 1 billion shares so that'll be another 1.88 billion and this is rough this is rough estimate guys billion hold on god damn it i meant to hit the damn all right boom so you're looking at 3 billion, 3.2 billion total market cap with AMC and Ape combined. Pay attention for you dummies that didn't do good in math when you were in school. 
divided by what the shares with the after the split and conversion come Friday, not Thursday, divided by 158 million shares. OK, that's what the float is going to be come Friday after the eight conversion divided by 158 million shares. OK. That's what AMC's price would be roughly come Friday, twenty dollars and thirty cent. But that's given the price right now and it's going to be less than that. I'm telling you guys now, you ain't got to listen to me, but you're going to see. You ain't got to listen to me, but you're going to see. The price is good. This is what the price will, would be come Friday, but you have to take into consideration the litigation settlement payment plus the share dilution of 25 million shares. There will be a price drop Thursday. I'm telling you now. So the so Friday, we're liable to open up at like 15, 16 bucks or maybe even less. All right. That's just that's just the cold hard facts. Y'all are gonna see. Y'all are gonna see, and I'll be making a video saying I'm right again, but that's what you're looking at. All right. So this video is for the people that's interested in buying the puts. I could give a fuck about anybody else and y'all stank ass, funky ass opinions, opinions at this point. Once again, shout out to Frankie Muhammad. Um, and that's all I really got for this video. But for y'all that's looking to buy contracts, um, uh, Financial advice, but not financial advice. Play them out till next year. <laughs> That's all I really got, man. Don't don't get caught in the IV trap, guys. It's an IV trap. It's a it's a it's an implied volatility trap. You're gonna get IV crushed if you don't play them right. If you're playing contracts on the short term for the short term expires, straight up. Like I did my homework on it. Straight up. Like don't don't fall for the trap, guys. And if you did, if you already bought some for the short term expires, uh, be smart about it, please. Um, please don't. Don't 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 hold them long, uh, cause I know that I know I know exactly what they're up to, guys. Listen, it, there's gonna be a pop in AMC, but the pop is only gonna be after the initial drop because there's gonna be an institution that picks up those 25 million shares at a huge discount. The, they're gonna manipulate the price. Adam Aaron and his board they have to get the price low enough for the institution to pick up those 25 million shares. At a discount so they could then in turn loan them out they're going to loan those 25 million shares out to short sellers that's the game and then the price is going to drop again like a fucking rock that's the game guys if you don't understand what's going on i'm sorry i'm sorry but that i'm telling you i'm telling you right now i'm telling you right now what's going to happen i'm telling you right now it's going to happen they're going to loan those 25 million shares out. Everybody's going to go crazy because the cost of borrow is going to be high as fuck again, a thousand percent. But little do y'all know the reason why the cost of borrow is high is because AMC is in demand to short because the short sellers are willing to pay that because they they're betting on the stock going to zero. If AMC goes to 25 cents, 50 cents, they're making a killing that thousand percent cost of borrow that they're going to pay ain't going to be shit. They're going to make 10, 20, 30 times that, bro. So if you don't understand the game that's being played, stay the fuck out of the stock market, bro. Like, for real. Like, this is what's happening. This is what's happening, peoples. But that's all I got for this video. Peace and blessings.